will be the this is a tool to diagnose what displacement of abomasum you are getting my point and this you can do on both side on left hand and another you know sometime maybe there is a more fluid and gases together you may heard the pushing this you know push the uh, this the rumen uh, from the this what is what is this structure paralumbar fossa push the stomach you may heard a splashing sound you may heard a splashing sound this is also a diagnostic tool this is also a sign of ldar da you are getting my point this is have you know one thing you need to understand what really happen there is a term which is known as blot or tampony there is the accumulation of gas in rumen also if there is a mechanism is failed you know gases do not leave the production of gases in the rumen is normal but if they don't leave the rumen so that is not normal that is blot either they are going to accumulate in the rumen that is tampony you are getting my point if they stay here so this may confuse you but i can tell you there is a difference some which you, for this you need to lot of experience to differentiate between tampony the sound of tampony and the sound of uh, uh, displacement of in a, what some things which i know which with the experience or some people may who are involved with the uh, practice of the ruminants are working on the dairy farm as a veterinarian they know that this ping sound mostly heard in displacement of abomasum and the pitch of this sound is high pitch of this sound is high but with compared to the tympanic sound the sound is dull the sound is the sound is dull and also the pitch of sound is very low and the also the uh, the sound is you know you can say thick sound in in this uh, displacement of abomasum is thin sound high and thin sound or sometime people also call metallic sound people also call that <coughs> so point is that everywhere if you read the literature about displacement of abomasum if you talk with any farmer or any veterinarian ask him what is the diagnosis of the displacement of abomasum he will say you what ping sound believe me he will say this is the first tool to the diagnosis or quick on the field or on the on the, in the, in the dairy farm you are getting my point there is many other way what is that you can do rectal palpation you can do rectal rectal palpation for that you can understand there is animal have uh, displaced and abomasum or not and no one day a modern technique there is a entry of ultrasonography there is entry of the large dairy farms no they have that equipments they have ultrasound so ultrasound can also help people with uh, have experience they can read ultrasonograph and they can tell us th maybe there is a displacement of the abomasum you are getting my point so but still in the practically on the dairy farm veterinary will still love to diagnose displacement of uh, abomasum with ping sound you are getting my point but more effective no are they are more accurate is that there is a chance you know if you are looking for a muscultation or percussion you are that's not true you are uh, always you are right so if you are looking for 100% diagnosis you need to use ultrasound that's clear okay the next thing is that if this condition you know you understand what is lda you understand what is rda you understand what is va or you also understand what are the risk factors you also understand what is the pathogenesis like hypermotility and accumulation of gases you have understand all these things so how how you diagnose you have also have already diagnosed that this dairy cow have this displacement of abomasum how will you treat the final thing is that how if how will you treat what will be your approach there is two or three different approaches which can be divided into two things one is non surgical approach one is surgical approach that's clear what non surgical approach another is surgical approach 
what really happening here need you think you need to understand in the non surgical approach the one way is that which is called rolling method you know what which is called as rolling method a rolling method this is also a term sometimes people call rolling and toggle method which is called as toggle method toggle is the name of instrument we use for that now number one thing is that the rolling method and toggle method they are non surgical method one way is that you may uh, do some uh, this dairy cow to walk on bumpy road the road which are not smooth road this is not rolling and toggle method this is a technique some veterinarian recommend this if the cow walk on what on bumpy road a road which is not smooth maybe in the field you know so what really happen there is a chance maybe with the movement of the body abomasum may come back to the normal position abomasum may come back to the normal position this is a one way and other way is the rolling method animal put on the dorsal recumbency what does it mean this is the dor dorsal surface on the ground all four legs in the air all four legs in the air just rolling left on right there may be chance abomasum come back to the normal position you know why will this happen because abomasum is here so this side is up here it is a gravity if the something is filled with air it will come up it will come up. so one idea is that they may come up with this just putting animal on what dorsal recumbency and doing some rolling doing some rolling there is a chance maybe due to the gravity this abomasum come on the top on the normal position because top is here the ventral surface this one is here you are getting my point if this is not happening the next step is that we do pexy you know what is pexy this is still not, we are in here in the non surgical method pexy there is two term you may heard listen carefully o mento pexy this is o mento pexy r abomasal pexy you know pexy mean to attach something with to other this is a surgical term it is a to attach to suture some structure with other structure that is pexy that is what omento mean omentum this is you know this is a toggle method if we want to make it more accurate so here we puncture abdomen and a instrument which is called as toggle we introduce and we do what we introduce a suture and with that instrument we try to fix that pex that that abomasum with the wall of ab uh, abdomen or that the momentum of abomasum with the wall of if you are doing this with the help of toggle you are you are attaching the momentum of abomasum with the wall of because we are making suture what does it mean that mean bring first bring abomasum on normal position then do what then do pexy then do suturing because when all animal got back it does not we, we don't want this go back so in that method what really happen we put animal on dorsal recumbency and we want this abomasum come on to the normal position and then we do what we attach this the uh, abomasum with the help of suture to the wall of if you are attaching omentum of abomasum this will be known as what omento pexy if you are doing uh, abomasum directly attaching with the wall of abdomen on the normal position this is known as what abomasal but what really happen these are techniques this all way we are discussing they are non surgical there is a problem in these all method of treatment there is a great chance of reoccurrence of the disease reoccurrence of the order this disorder the displacement of abomasum may occur again displacement of abomasum may occur again so no one a more effective method veterinarian are using is the surgical method they also in surgery they also do what 
or mentopexy or metalpexy. They do nothing special. But for that purpose, on the standing conditions, they open the abdominal wall and then first pick the, you know, omasm and remove the gases from the abomasm and then do what? Fix that abomasm with the wall of Adomant do omentopexy or abomasal pexy. In that, in the result of that case, we have less chance of reoccurrence of disease. In in the case of what? In the case of non-surgical approach, rolling, toggling, or pulling, we may have the chance of reoccurrence. But if your your approach is the surgical approach for treatment, you have less less chance of Reoccurrence. That's clear. Okay. Listen again carefully. We will do a quick row of this whole lecture in a minute. Okay. Displacement of abomasm is that a gas filled abomasm will leave his normal position, maybe go to the left side of abdomen or the right side of abdomen and trap there. And trap there. Why this is happening? The biggest risk factor is the parturition, then age of animal, then breed of animal, and another biggest risk factor is the nutrition which are giving during the transitional period, which is giving to the during the, but all these risk factors do what? There is the hypomortality of the abomasm, actually the hypomortality of the smooth muscles of the wall of abomasm, and there due to this hypomasis, there is the accumulation of the gases. Gases may also accumulate due to any other factor. Maybe the rumen is not functioning properly. Maybe the food we are introducing, we are giving too much grains and due to the grain and concentration, there is a great pro uh, more production of the gases occur. You are getting my point? So if there is, point is that, if there is accumulation of gases in the abomasm, it may leave his normal position and go to left and right and trap there. That's clear. And other important thing is that, how you will diagnose? For diagnose, the, there is a sound which is called as what? Ping sound. This is considered one of the way to the diagnose. But you can do diagnosis through rectal palpation. You can do diagnose through what? Ultrasound. Treatment, we have two ways. Non-surgical and surgical. In surgical, leave go on what? Bumpy roads. And in non-surgical, you can also do the rolling and using a special instrument which is called as toggle. You are getting my point? For surgical, do the incision on the side of a flank area and remove the uh, gases for uh, abomasm and attach abomasm with the ball of the... Okay, you are getting my point? If somebody asks you how you can prevent... If you are a man, let's suppose you are a manager on dairy farm. You are manager on dairy farm. The owner of dairy farm asks you, I want to do a good management to avoid the occurrence of the displacement of abomasm. How will, what will you will do? No. To avoid that, what does it mean? The, I can tell you. The first thing you need to understand, you keep an eyes on uh, cow and ask you look for cow they do some exercise they do some good exercise during before the parturition and after, after the parturition may prevent the chance of occurrence of the displacement of abomasm this is important and other important thing keep a strict eye on the nutrition if you are bringing change in the nutrition during the transition period bring slowly bring slowly do not abruptly and also try to look for the balanced nutrition. Try to look for the balanced nutrition by look for the roughages percentage and concentration percent which are recommended. So if you, I can say that if you have a good idea what kind of nutrition you will provide your animal during the transitional period before the parturition and after the parturition, parturition and that phase. So there will be also less chance of displacement of abomasum. That's clear. 
थैंक यू वेरी मच इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन मोस्ट वेलकम